Hi, I'm Paul, and this is Fancy Agenda. People complain about the PS3 cell processor, but I think it was fascinating. By all accounts, it was an unusual processor architecture that was difficult to program for. Still, it had a PowerPC core and 8 SPE vector elements all on one chip. It was made to be scalable. You could reasonably hook up a large number of these chips together. I remember reading an article describing scientists buying hundreds of PS3s so they could build a supercomputer out of them. Strange use for a gaming console. Heck, that is what IBM mostly did with the cell was make supercomputers. This is a long time ago, but it was once rumored that originally they were going to make a second chip that would have four cell processors on it. Imagine four power PC cores and 32 synergistic processor elements all on one chip. Pretty neat. Still, software developers are not used to writing code for synergistic processor elements. <laughs> And so the PS4 uses the more common x86 architecture. So we say goodbye to the cell processor, but recognize that it was one of the early CPUs to have different types of processors on one chip. And it was unique. I think it'll stand out in the history of microprocessors. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks. Click on the screen for a rant about E3 trailers. Thanks.